So it's a little bit after six um, on the 11th of April and I just got home from the Boys and Girls Club. See? Um, and today was really awesome because we got to go outside, which was uh, amazing because I haven't been outside with the Boys and Girls Club since uh, last semester, maybe once or twice. And it was a lot of fun to play on the blacktop, playing basketball and kickball with the kids. Um, but as soon as I got a chance to uh, be like one-on-one -on -one with one of the little boys, I got to talking to him and we were talking about his PE class and um, like the kinds of things he learns besides like sports and besides skills. And he said that, well, we don't learn anything. And I said, well, does your teacher read to you guys? And he said, no. We're in fourth grade, we know how to read. And I said, okay, well, do you guys learn about anything besides sports? And he said, well, yeah, I mean, we learn about like the healthy stuff. And I said, okay, so you're gonna tell me a little bit more? And so he tar started talking to me about foods and just remaining active and um, the foods that are good for you, the foods that are bad for you. So I thought that was kind of cool. He at least knew um, a little bit, but then I asked him, like his learning style, uh, what, how he likes to learn, kind of get a feel for um, that. And he said, well, I can learn anyway. And I said, okay, well, like I like to learn hands-on. I like to do activities and I like to talk about it. Um, and I, I told him, I said, when I read something, I don't necessarily remember everything I read, but if I do an activity involving that information, I typically remember most of it. And he said, oh yeah, I do that with my mom. When she asks me what I read about, I tell her something, but really I don't remember. So I thought that, um, I thought that that was pretty funny. And I thought that it was really cool that he opened up and started talking to me about what they do in health in elementary school because a lot of the other kids, um, it's really hard to talk to them about anything. They don't really want to talk about it or they change the subject or they're too excited about something else that they're doing. So it is difficult to, um, to get some really good conversations flowing at the Boys and Girls Club because they're all over the place all the time. But I think that being there in itself is just really, really important because once they realize that you do want to hang out with them and you want to play sports with them and um, actually interact with them instead of just kind of watch over like a lot of the actual employees at the facility do. Um, they get really excited and they cling to you and they want to know a lot about you and they want to ask you questions along with um, kind of trying to show you up on all the sports that they that they know which a lot of times happens for me. So I just think that being there and um, my experience there is just really special and I appreciate um, the kids allowing me to step in and hang out with them and play with them and them treating me kind of just like one of them and it's really cool to see how they interact with each other um, although sometimes it does their hands on with one another and they're they can say things that actually surprise me um, their language uh, but I always I do my best to try to call them out and um, stay in my place knowing that I'm not an employee and I can't necessarily discipline the kids but I do try to like keep kids apart or um, have them notice that what they just said was not okay um, so I think just calling them out on their actions is uh, the biggest way that a volunteer can really um, get involved with uh, negative actions but I think that when I do that, they they notice it and they kind of, they recognize what they did wrong. Whereas like the employees um, at the Boys and Girls Club kind of just yell or tell them to sit down. But I actually witnessed a kid have time out today um, and scoot his way from on his bottom, scoot his way all the way across the field and up to the playground and the employee did nothing. So uh, that was interesting. I just feel like uh, these kids need structure for sure. They need a lot of structure and they need um, to kind of be told what's right from wrong and actually be held accountable for their actions because a lot of them um, aren't. And it, it goes south pretty quickly, but then they all make up and everything's totally fine. So um, I just, I like being at the Boys and Girls Club. I think it's a lot of fun and their energy levels are out of the roof. Um, so they keep me on my toes 
but just hold the whole experience in itself is a learning one for me because I get to see um, where these kids are at in school along with what they're learning and then their behavior. Um, so it's really neat. Yeah. Thanks.